So excited this is gonna be my first YouTube video I've been watching booktube for years and I had some really nice people recommend that I come to booktube from book talk so hi I'm Lizzie I make a lot of bookish content online and I've gotten some questions about my bookshelf so I figured this is the best way to do a book tour the format of having people listen to your voice for 15 seconds compared to minutes is going to be interesting oh also excuse my voice um, I am stuck at home because I'm sick so it's kind of the perfect time to film I'm not good at intros, so let's just do the book tour. All right, let's start with the huge bookshelf that was originally meant to be a pantry, but because I'm in an apartment, it's a metal frame that was sturdy enough. It's from Ikea, and I'll try linking that if I know how to do that. I originally had the Billy bookshelves from Ikea, but I couldn't remove them and take them to the apartment with me, so everything I own is pretty much double booked from the books that I read behind and the books that I'd like to read are just some of my favorites up front. Um, there are a lot of Regency romances hidden in here. I wish I could say they were organized uh, by genre, but they definitely aren't. I have a lot of YA or at least fantasy on this side with the Percy Jackson series over here. There's a couple series up top. Oh, my favorite, The City of Brass. I need to complete that one. And then I have all of my book of the month books just stacked on top of each other. That's probably not great for their spines. Hi, bubs. How are you? get a better angle of everything that's up top. These are some Barnes & Noble classics. They do have sprayed edges, or at least some of them do. And those were all $5, so I built up a nice collection there. I have a lot of <laughs> The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I uh, know I have not read it yet, but most of those were gifts I'm very thankful for. I think everything else up here is just pretty random and then featuring my Green Lantern rings and the Narnia series. <laughs> On this side, I have a lot of classics. These are some of my favorite. They're the Penguin Cloth Bound Jane Austen set, and I did wait until this was $30 on Amazon because these books are expensive. Uh, mostly this was a section of classics, but then I realized this row, at least in this section, is more what I believe should be labeled classics. These are a few of my favorite books that I film a lot with, so they're all very easy access. I still have not read Rule of Wolves though, but that is a beautiful book, so it is joined with my hardcovers. Um, more classics, kind of random books I've been given over the years. And then, wow, there's just really no reason for these books to be together. We have Grey's Anatomy and Lost in the Neverwoods. Sure, it's fitting. On this table, I have um, the books I was trying to read, seven books in seven days, and picking which ones to read. So they're just out here. I'm currently in the middle of a few of them. And oh my gosh, great so far. This coffee table is from Amazon too. I think it was $60. And this is more of my active TBR or just books that I love. I have read The Poppy War and Black Sun. So they're out here, I guess, to pressure my friends to read them. Radio Silence as well. I'm so sorry, I am wearing Crocs right now and you can hear them in the background squeaking. That's embarrassing. And the classic book cart. This is mostly contemporary romance or any paperback I couldn't find another place for, hence the last legacy right there. It was um, ordered by color, so you kind of see the rainbow effect, but I gave up moving books once I had to add a color in. <laughs> But now that you're stuck here with me, I am going to give you one of my favorite recommendations that is sitting on this cart because I have three copies of this book. And it's going to be made a fool of death with your beauty. I adore this book. There's another one on the coffee table over there. A lot of great choices on this cart. This is definitely one of my favorite ways to organize books because it's really easy to move. And finally, my spinning bookshelf probably the most unique place to store my books. Most of this cart is filled with young adult books, but it is a mix and match of kind of an extension of my TBR. So even I don't fully know what's on this, but it is definitely handy. I think it was built for a children's playroom because it's plastic, it comes apart super easy. And this was, I think, 
$60 on Amazon. Sure. I did say that was the final place. I have stacks like this around the apartment as well. I also apparently have random bookshelves in the kitchen. This is supposed to be kitchen storage, so we're gonna have to move these. I do feel like I need to add a disclaimer because I don't think this amount of books is normal, especially for someone my age. So it's been confusing for some people asking where I get all of my books because I definitely cannot afford this library on my own. I'm just very fortunate that I work with books so a lot of them are sent to me but i do think it's important to note anyway thank you for joining me i hope this kind of made sense because my books definitely aren't organized by any means um i hope to make some future youtube videos because i'd like to do my seven books in seven days and readathons in a longer format i think that would be really fun oh this is weird this is really weird i've also never asked people to like and subscribe but i feel like i've been watching youtube for so long that that's just what I should be saying. So please like and subscribe. I could use some book friends. <laughs>